is uh, uh, doing for Pansotti. Okay. So it's a very traditional from Liguria. Mm -hmm. eh? Do this dough with just a double zero flour, okay. eggs, vino bianco, white yeah, wine, yeah. Mm -hmm. eh? sometimes uh, even a touch of Parmigiano inside the dough. Okay, this is a traditional filled pasta, like a ravioli, right? Yeah. It's like a, this is a Ligurian ravioli, a traditional Ligurian ravioli. Pansotti. Pansotti. Means Pansotti from means panza, panza. Yeah. La panza, from little belly. belly. Yeah, from exactly. belly, okay. Which means that these ravioli are going to be really filled, right? Yeah, like very belly. filled. Okay. Yeah. So you use the whole egg, not all just eggs. the egg yolk or all the all egg eggs. white. Some places in Italy, you know, yeah. they only yeah. use... You're right, Signor, 100%, because in Italy, we uh, make everything different town to yes, town. Yes. And everybody said, uh, ah, this mine is better. No, mm -hmm. this mine is better. But it's an Italian way. You know? Right. Ligurian cooking is, uh, you know, it's about sharing. It's the American people, they love experience, they love history. Mm -hmm. Right. And they love, right. you know, this recipe, they so hold. There's always a story with a, a recipe, story. right? Yeah. Okay, always. so let's go with this now. Okay. So we've got the eggs. What they yeah, do, yeah. They mix you break a up the bit. eggs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the you hand. may not use all this flour either, right? You no. may not use it all. We'll, we'll yeah. see. And with this, you're going to add some salt. Do you add salt at all? I don't. I don't salt it because uh -huh. uh, what I do, if you put enough salt on the um, on the water, yes, you don't need it. You don't need it mm -hmm. because uh, the the pasta absorb all the salt. Right. So when you're cooking it, you can add the salt to the boiling water. All right. So now you've added wine. Yes. And, uh, now this is typical wine from Liguria. Is a, a, the, usually in Liguria you have a Vermentino, Vermentino whatever, yeah. or Cinque Terre, whatever, yeah. whatever is Pigato, whatever is. Uh, I tell you the truth. In the home you have a leftover for the night. You, you can know, use it. You, you can, can use, use it. it. Yes. You know. Okay. This so now awesome. after you make this dough, yeah. you're going to let it rest, right? Yes. Okay. This is important. Yeah. Important because uh, you, uh, you know. The dough, when it rests, also all the activity about the wine and all the ingredients, mm -hmm. they start to break down. Yeah. So while this is resting, yes. why don't we make the filling? Yes. Perfetto. Spinaci. Spinaci. You've got uh, bietole, beet si. greens, yeah. beet tops. You could use what? Swiss chard? Swiss chard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. we, we call bietole, but actually bietole, it's yeah. chard. Yeah, chard. Okay. Yeah. Chards. And you've got borage, which yeah. is an herb. Exactly. And if you couldn't find borage, you could use some other... Uh, other herbs. So you can use dandelion. You can dandelion use... Dandelion greens. You know. Yeah. And uh, maybe if you use dandelion, it's a little more bitter yeah. in a way. You can use a little... Balance it with a little more spinach. Right. Well, see, that's, that's where the mind of a chef comes in. Yeah. You have to do the balancing thing. The balancing. And then this is the margarana. Mm. Margarana. Yeah. So this is it, right? Margarana. Okay. Yes, that is uh, what it looks like. Margarana is right. the same family of the oregano. Yeah. A little more mild in yeah. a way, in mm -hmm. a smell. But sometimes yeah. they use too much, it's even bitter. Yes. So then you've got some ricotta. ricotta. Okay. Buonissima, la ricotta è buonissima. Right. Eh, ricotta is very fresh, you yep. know, and nice. Mm -hmm. eh, Parmigiano Reggiano. Okay. Sea salt. Okay. A touch of garlic. All right. So you put all this together and yeah. we have filling, yes. right? So. We have the filling here. Yes. So here's you know, the, the filling. Okay. You know, it looks like, like this, it smells very nice. Uh, I'm yeah. sorry you don't smell, but well, <laughs> about it, you know. I can smell it. It's yeah. really, yeah, very, exactly. very fragrant. Eccoli. Okay, it looks great. So, Paolo, how do you know when the dough is ready? Do you have a, do you have a little test that you, you do? Yes, you know, it has to feel silky, yeah. all uniform like this. Yeah, no, 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 it's good. It's because good, now yeah. it rests, after yeah. the rest uh, is... And even the color is yeah, different than different. before. Bravo, yeah, it's exactly. Yeah, see? Ecco qua. Mm -hmm. See how nice that rolls out because the, it is the gluten has relaxed enough for him to do that. If yeah. the gluten isn't relaxed, that dough would just spring back to yeah, you. Exactly. It's very difficult for you to roll. Exactly. So it's important so, to let it rest for 30 exactly. minutes or so. Beautiful. So what I do now, yeah. I mean, we're yeah. going to switch. Permesso, okay. signore, con permesso. Look at this macchina. This macchina. Questa è una macchina. Ah, grande. Sì, una sì, macchina sì. grande. Questa è la Monferrina. Yeah, so okay, it's a Monferrina a pasta machine, yeah. and this is what's going to thin down this dough. Yeah. So you put it in several times, right? Yeah, and need to feel, yes, she has to be tender enough to be yeah. endable. Okay. Like that. You'll see we don't use any egg wash and nothing. Yeah, yeah. Because sometimes, you know, use the egg wash, make the pasta 
too thick yes. in the in the closing part, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and that's why you mm, beautiful you feel like in your time. I think it's nice. Okay, it's nice because also when we do now the pansotti, mm -hmm. when we do the pansotti, we can li even stretch a little bit. A more. little bit, yes, because it yeah. is very stretchy, yeah. very stretchy. And I put my finger like this, mm -hmm. and I do ecco qua il pansotto. Ecco qua il pansotto, okay. Brava, signora, perfetto. Okay. Can I get a job here? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you should really cook them uh, as soon as you've got them all yes. ready, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Allora, Paolo, tu hai fatto questo pane? Sì, si, pane. Si, 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 okay, si, so right. he made this bread, and this is going to be part of the filling for si. the panzotti. So si. what else goes into it? So, uh, bread, yeah. the inside of the bread, mm -hmm. we soak in a little bit of milk. Okay. You put, uh, you put very simply, you put in a cup. Uh, yeah, and you add like the milk. This. Yeah, and then you just, you just soak, soak this yeah. until it's, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right. So that gets soaked, and then yeah. you break it up. And you break it up, you know, pieces. stay like this nice. And, and this then, you save yeah. for pan gratati. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, walnuts. Mm -hmm. uh, California, they're very good. Okay. Walnuts. Yeah. And uh, marjoram. Marjoram again. Again, okay. a little good. bit. Yet yeah. For recall, this inside the filling all together does very, very good yeah. flavor. Uh, uh, garlic. Yeah. A little bit. Salt. Mm -hmm. Parmigiano Reggiano. Okay. Extra virgin olive oil. Okay. So this is uh, uh, una, un crudo. Sì. Salsa è una salsa cruda. Cruda. Sì. Okay. È praticamente okay. una salsa cruda. Assurso. So um, we uh, long time ago they used this the mortar. Yes, and I know you are the champion yes, yes, we, of we went making pesto, the we, worldwide yeah, champion pesto yeah, maker, yeah. by the way. The, the recipe of my mama, yeah. Wow, that's so, quite an accomplishment. Yeah. Grazie, signora. Thank you very much. We do um, by the mortar a long time ago, yeah. but today you can use the blender. The food process. The food process. Okay. So uh, what you, you're doing, you put the walnuts, the, walnuts, yeah. the garlic. The garlic Extra virgin olive oil. Okay. Eh? Quanto you make basta? Quanto basta. Okay, yeah. For okay. emulsifies all together. So it's a sausage. Yeah. 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 And a, a touch of margarine. Okay. The salt. In the end, the bread. Yeah. The bread uh, soak uh, in the milk. Mm -hmm. You know, when it's very mm -hmm. yeah. like this. Yeah. So give the consistency to the to the sauce, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And the creaminess at the same time, yeah. because uh, you squeeze the milk, but not too much, yeah. you know? Yeah. And if actually, if you need a little bit of the milk for make the sauce, mm -hmm. you add a little bit. This you is know, very you adjust. clever, very yeah. clever to use bread for this sauce. Yeah. You know, instead of something like a cream yeah. or, yeah. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Clever. We use a uh, good uh, milk mm -hmm. and everything. And in the end, in the very end, a little Parmigiano, because okay. if you use the machine, yeah. you don't want to, uh, the Parmigiano cook because sometimes yeah. you know the machine they're very powerful. Yes. You know, could so you put the you could put the Parmigiano in at the end. In the right? end, Just if you yeah. want it, it's actually yeah. better. Yeah. And wow. that is uh, practically what it look like the sauce when it's done. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, it's uh, like a, in a white pesto. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. We always uh, when you want to store the sauce. For example, you make this morning for tonight, yeah. you put a couple of little extra virgin olive oil in top. Mm -hmm. So preserve everything. Yeah, right, right. You know, it gives actually a good So you flavor. could actually make this ahead, put it in the refrigerator yeah. with a film of si. o olive oil over the top. How long will it last? Ooh, signora. A couple weeks? Oh, see. Si. All right. For okay. Sure. Wonderful. Okay. 